there, we are Claire and Nick Butcher and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre, one turret short of a chateau. I'm pleased to report he finally came home from the supermarket. He got the correct things. <laughs> well done. I'm pleased to report I'm finally home from the supermarket. I know, you were forever. Just finished one of the week, just finished editing. Just converting and about to upload today's video, tomorrow's video. What did he forget at the supermarket? Dinner. This evening's dinner. It was on a fold, it was on the paper, so I couldn't see it. Do you know what I have noticed though? You know how you were gone for like four hours? Yeah. <laughs> right. What what's that stuff that's over across the yard? A project. Did you go to a bricolage shop? I did. When you pretended to be food shopping for such a long time. I didn't pretend at all. After somebody forgot to get dinner at the supermarket today. Had to come out for dinner. Damn it. That was a fun couple of hours out. Lovely fish and chips again by Mr. T's. It's time to go home. Well, it's Sunday evening. Um, this week's video has just aired. Um, and I'm off to Bordeaux Airport, about an hour and 40 minute drive uh, to pick up my parents. So, Despite all the odds, apparently I've boarded a plane. And if I haven't, I want a phone call very quickly. Anyway, an hour and a half or so from now, I'll be there. nearly at the motorway which is a toll road um, now this is the right hand drive car that I bought over from the UK and driving on your own it's quite a pain to go through toll booths because you can't reach for the ticket or the pavement so you've got to stop and get out and go round and all of that so we've got toll tags which are just things that beep as you go through and you get billed automatically and uh, yeah I'll show you how it all works right now pick any lane um, let's go through this one here hopefully I can't go in front 
and I just want to slow down for it to go pink. And as easy as that, we're through. Whee there you go. Easy as that. I'm on the motorway. I'm paying for the privilege, obviously, but here we go. Bordeaux. Boop, boop. too bad I'm at the airport now and uh, having a little wander around trying to find out where they're going to appear from this is annoying only half nine just when you might want a coffee there are some vending machines over there I might grab a coffee and go and oh I can't sit down here and enjoy it hmm the last time they came by this route mum appeared through the doors there in a wheelchair because she'd asked for help carrying the bags up the stairs to the plane was a bit tricky they went all the way with her and yeah wheelchair and everything so uh, see if she gets the same treatment again today well a few hundred people have just walked past but not my parents Look who it is! <laughs> the decrepit one. <laughs> no, no. You, ha you take you to the car. <laughs> Hello, mother. <laughs> Hello, father. <laughs> yes, it's that way round. Right, well I found them. We're back at the car <laughs> and we're just about to set off and do the journey all in, in reverse. So, uh, there you go. 25 to 12 at night and the in-laws are due in about 10 minutes time. Kids? You look really evil with your eyes in the camera. But can you be good for grandma and grandpa? And that sounds like the arrival of the in-laws. Or should we call them the outlaws? Well, good morning. Um, bright and early, we were up before dawn and uh, are now en route headed south. We're going cross country rather than on the motorway, and we're going to be leaving the cognac region heading for the Bordeaux region. And uh, well, let's see where we end up. Are we okay in the back, passengers? Are we nearly there? <laughs> yes, we are nearly there. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> How's the dry we're doing? Lovely, yes. So we're no longer in the Charente Maritime region and uh, we've, we've headed south and the, the landscape has changed. It's not quite as flat as back home. Um, there aren't grapevines everywhere, there's pine forests, and uh, we are headed to the Bordeaux region, um, where we hope to find 
great again and uh, see what they make with them. destination and uh, well it's a chateau visit in the Lalande to Pomerol area and oh, looking forward to this and here we are Chateau or Goujon oh, I like a nice Goujon Very modest turrets here. <laughs> for the reception of the berries. You will see them, we will collect the berries there at the end, you see? With him, we try to separate leaves from berries. Yes. This year there was lots of disease pressure, so we had outside to cut all the, the parts not very sane, not very healthy. Mm -hmm. And here we try to uh, throw each thing we don't see. We don't like it. Yes. It, it. It has to be perfect to come inside. Yes. It will go like that and fall into this machine and it will separate berries from the roots. Okay. Those berries come down and are pressed, a little pressed. And with this pump, we will take all the berries and the juice and Michael has started to uh, fill. You see this yes, thing see there. Yeah. This is the best wine of the week ever. <laughs> Yeah. 
Bye. We fought through the crowds of people and made it to a nice little restaurant for lunch. Um, if it's really good, we'll tell you where it is. That was a good start. Wasn't it? We have uh, duck and orange sauce, Caesar salad. <laughs> steak and chips. And a nice healthy ocean salad. Be milky when in Rome, you know. I try the goods and the worst. If you were uh, see behind me, my drinking buddy over here is flagging, he's having a coffee, but you know, waiting for the ice cream. And of course, there's another wine tasting book for later, so I've passed the keys to somebody who's semi responsible. And coffee. Cheers. <laughs> Well, following lunch and a little walk around Santa Million, we're at another chateau. Got no turrets at all. Hmm. Chateau Cadet Bon. layers that you're going to feel during the white testing. And that's a way to just put in more complexity. But
So well, we're just over at the outdoor dining room have a, having a tidy up after this evening. Um, and look what we've just been watching. Claire thought she had a new pet. I was really excited. <laughs> Well, both sets of parents have uh, come together round the table here. It's obviously Mr. Dawson's birthday. Um, so in celebration of that, Claire's busy over there making a paella. Yay. Oh, lovely. And that looks amazing. <laughs> so for your 77th birthday, these are two gifts from some of our YouTube subscribers and viewers. So, oh, nice. they are, yeah. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, I think that's lovely. Yeah, would you like to open them and see what's in them? Yeah, from the... YouTube then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's all right. You can come round for a drink if you want. Oh! Yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, of course. Hey, I think like that. You should drink it quite a bit and some more white stuff. There's one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one of each, one for each hand. <laughs> yeah, that's very nice. Thank you very much. You should have sent a pen so my wife could have marked the bottles at the correct mark. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, mate. Thank Very you. Very nice. Yeah. <coughs> What's that? Oh. Now this one, I think I might have to hide it when we go out. No, you may not. <laughs> no. William. <laughs> Oh, oh we will he is he quite often. Oh, you did another one. Oh, oh, uh, I'll tell you what, you can tell quality. <laughs> to Mike D, congratulations and best wishes on your 77th. Many happy returns of the day from Michael and Doris. Uh, I think that's... Really, you can tell quality. Yeah. yeah. They've got a label in there. Producer Father yeah. Bottles. Yeah. Oh, Bushmills. Oh, Bushmills. Oh, yes. the original. Addy. Oh. to wine of the week uh more wine again this week a bordeaux rosé as a gift from my wonderful mother dearest made with love it says on the front hmm. Hmm. let's see let's see given with love to us as well i believe yes <laughs> thank you mother-in-law yes <laughs> mother dearest as she's known to claire what do you call her? 
Belmare. You had to think about that then. <laughs> to her face. <laughs> well, what a fun week we're having. Yes, it's uh, a different week. As you can obviously see, tools have been downed yet again. <laughs> we are hoping to one day complete the renovation of this property. <laughs> no, it's lovely to have my parents here on their holiday and uh, a good opportunity for us to get out and about and see parts of the world that we don't normally get to see and we're enjoying it. We are. And I think they are as well. We do. Yes. I think the only thing that you can't see at the moment underneath this table is that my legs are covered for some reason in mosquito bites. Mm, I'll be down to the mosquitoes. It will be. I am your sacrificial lamb. Well. <laughs> Someone needs to be. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. If you have, please click the like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, click that button and you'll become one. Well, we'd just like to say as well, we are very thankful to everyone who has mentioned the fact that we have reached over 3,000 subscribers. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you. You're helping. <laughs> you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. Oh. oh, this is a hard one. Oh, woohoo! <laughs> well, here we go. Ah, that's lovely and cold, I'll say that. Ooh. That's its only redeeming factor. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not I'm not a great rosé fan. Um, but yes, again, we're having a hot day, so it's not a bad drink to have. On the back of the bottle, it does say, however, that it is bee-friendly. I've never seen that on the back of a wine bottle before. Anyway. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Right, I've been speaking away here quite happily and it's quite a pleasant <laughs> drink, so there you go. Mm. We don't know how much it is or where you can get it, but we've got some, so there you go. Not bad. Not bad. Not well, bad. thanks for watching and we will see you next week. Bye.